Minecraft 1.20 is bringing a new type of pot to the game and you won't even go to prison for possession of this one. You don't have to be high to think that this is actually one of the most astounding items in Minecraft 1.20. There are over a hundred thousand variants of it and it's an item that can be both really common or really rare. It can show off your accomplishments or it can be a fun decoration. What's the deal with pot firing? How can you trade for these? And why is this the most satisfying item in a way that most people haven't considered? Allow me to answer all of that in big up update questions. This is part three for the series and so if you've made it this far I would like to give you a free PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 5 uh, but in case this isn't good enough for you, in case a whole console isn't good enough, how about I also give away a whole Lamborghini? Okay is that enough for you? Uh, thank you to Buster Shop for linking to these bolts and thank you for watching and maybe subscribing because if there's one thing we like on this channel it's big uh, update stuff and this is a big update question. Why should you care about the pot? And the answer is the pot shards are a key feature from archaeology. But that's the answer most people give and it doesn't answer the question of why you should care about the overall pot. Sure, you have to find this in the ground, but why would you care about it once you do? It's just a very interesting looking item, right? That you can have a bunch of pickaxes on, but what is the actual deal? What can you store inside, for example? And allow me to answer that right after I say that if you want to make these pots, but you don't want to go archaeologing, you don't need to put all these fun variants on each of the sides. All you have to do is go to a stonemason, or you could get your own bricks, but this is the easiest way, trade for some bricks one emerald will buy you 10 of those, and every four bricks you get can craft you a blank pot. This is a very simple recipe, as you can see right here. You can add in any number of pot shards to any of the sides to put a sniffer on the front, or a skull on the front, or anything else that you find in the world, but the basic pots are possible for everyone. And so, what is the fun and what is the deal with that? Well, allow me to show you right here. Uh, you can craft your own personalized item that will almost certainly be not done by someone around you. For example, if you want to show that you've slain a you know, skeleton, you can tell Tell that story with two sword shards and two skull shards uh, and this will make it so that on the two opposite faces you've got skulls and on the two other side faces you've got the swords. You can do this to any degree of customization if you want so you could put just a single skull on there with four bricks and then you'd get one of these except obviously it's a it's a jumpy man instead. You could put a creeper on the front and a, you, you, you get the idea you have full customization over this but what's the deal with firing them then? Like if you if all it takes is just crafting them together using these handy dandy recipes again Every YouTube video we show off recipes using item frames, don't question it. Uh, what is the point in firing them? And the answer to this is there is no point. A lot of people will point out dig sites and the old archaeology that was shown off in 2020 now. Wow, 2020 was a better time, wasn't it? Wasn't, wasn't that great? Such a great year. Don't you just want to go back to those simpler times? But one of the great things about 2020 is they announced archaeology and you were meant to fire the pots up after you crafted them, but they've been left on the cutting room floor. There is no use for this. You craft it together uh, just like like so. Let me, let me show you right here. I've got four separate shards. We're going to put them all together. You have to do this manually as best I can tell is that if there is a way to automatically do this, I don't know it. So if you are on a uh, your bedrock device, you have to manually put them in there and make sure you know which one's on which side, but that will make you the decorated pot fully complete, no firing necessary, something which is pretty cool. Look, it's got a pickaxe here and one of these there. It's, it's fun. Anyway, speaking of fun things, uh, we next up have to mention the most satisfying part of the pot. Uh, why, you know, why should you Want to enjoy these? It's because if you break it with any tool without silk touch, it makes this fun smashing sound where you get all four of these things back. So these pottery shards are effectively just being stored in the pot. You aren't using them up forever, you're just storing them temporarily in a way that can be displayed. And so this means we can break all of them and put those on the ground. If you've got bricks in there, you'll get the bricks back. If you've got shards, you'll get the shards back. And so this is a really fun way to decorate your garden if you want to. Ooh, look at that. I've got a plant pot over here, and then I can put a plant in my giant pot. So now I'm showing that this is a sniffer, actually not, if it's a sniffer plant pot, we should really put in a torch flower, shouldn't we? I can have a sniffer plant pot to show that this is how I found it. Isn't this wonderful? Yes, it is. If you want, you can stack these things up super high on top of each other. So, you know, I don't like that it's just one of these here. I'll put one on top of this if I want to, and then uh, by doing that, and then putting a pot on top of that, you can make these super high flower pots, which weren't possible before. They look really nice, uh, and honestly, the most incredible thing about this has to be uh, this new archaeological discovery, which which is the tomb of the first empire. Okay, is, isn't this nice? This is another creative use for them. I think realistically, uh, if you're excited for a use of like, okay, so okay, you've said all these things, what can you store inside of them? You can't store inside anything. There is no use to the uh, to these pots outside of what you, the user, create, which is a very ballsy mood when you think about it. I mean, it shows that you've been to a trail ruins. It shows that you have creativity to tell the story of your dog that broke your heart. And it shows all sorts of fun things. I mean, if you want to just be 
humorous of it. You can say, ha ha ha, look at the pothead over here, you shouldn't listen to him. Uh, you can do all sorts of goofy things with it, but to me, the most underrated value is just the joy that you get when you break them. This is something that comes right out of The Legend of Zelda. Um, do you want to go to a pot town? Look at this, isn't this beautifully made? Uh, if we just use a shovel to break these pots, listen to the noise. Oh. That is just so satisfying. Being able to break the pots and getting a great noise from it, and just like this, because pots are one of the coolest, most interesting items that have that limited functionality in terms of actuality, but I think will become a fan favorite item. I think this is one of the truths about Minecraft. The game can give you the most functional items in the game, but unless it's the very best thing ever, like a Neverite shovel with the max enchantment, do you really care about it? Whereas things like the turtle helmet, things like this decorated pot, will be those fun features that you're actually excited to use because getting use out of it is entirely on you and although making very satisfying break noises is something I'm going to be getting value from this bomb, I think in my survival world I'm going to enjoy having these super rare pots that show off that I have done a lot of mining underground and I love that. 1.20 is all about showing off customization and this is how pots fit into it. In fact, if you want you can even show the history, you know the firing of pots does nothing but doesn't this look kind of fun anyway? Yes it does and that has brought us to the end of part 3 of big update questions. Stay tuned for part four because I think a lot of people are going to want an ancient city because one of the rarest, uh, you know, archaeology, one of the rarest rare items in this update is kind of found down there. So you're going to want to find out as part four of the series comes in. I hope you're all enjoying this very manic day because I need to get right into that video now. Let's go. Goodbye.